short-sightedness, far-sightedness, and astigmatism are all due to light not focusing precisely onto the retina. Surgeons can correct this by using a laser to reshape the curvature of the front surface of the eye, called the cornea. The surgeon operates on one eye at a time. He cleans the eye, the lid, and the lashes with antiseptic and administers anesthetic drops to freeze the eye and lid. He opens the lid wide with a speculum, then rinses the eye with a saline solution. Everything's frozen so the patient doesn't feel a thing. Next, antibiotic drops to prevent infection. Before every operation, the surgeon tests the equipment. He fires the laser on a metal plate to test its energy level. The surgeon administers a few more anesthetic drops, then inspects the microkeratome, the device he'll use to lift a very thin layer from the outer surface of the eye. He also measures the patient's cornea using an ultrasonic instrument. The cornea must be a minimum thickness for it to be safely reshaped. The surgeon uses the speculum again to prop the lid open. Then he begins the operation. He marks the eye with sterile ink, reference marks he'll use later. Next, he positions a metal ring around the cornea. The ring is attached to a suction pump so it clings to the eye. Like holding a tomato steady while you slice it, it holds the eye steady while the surgeon cuts the tissue. The surgeon lubricates the eye with sterile water, then mops up the excess water with a small absorbent sponge. Then he takes the microkeratome and slips it into grooves in the metal suction ring. In a matter of seconds, the device moves across the eye, cutting open a flap of tissue, the same way a carpenter's plane shaves a layer of wood. The surgeon uses a sterile sponge ring to keep tears from contaminating the cornea. He folds back the flap of tissue, exposing the cornea. He mops up the excess liquid, then starts up the laser. Meanwhile, a tiny sponge keeps the flap moist. The laser, an invisible light, fires in pulses, 50 pulses per second. Each pulse vaporizes a one-quarter micron of corneal tissue. The laser has been computer programmed beforehand, so it knows exactly how to reshape the cornea to give most patients 20-20 vision. In less than a minute, it's done. The surgeon removes the sponge and then, using those little ink marks he made earlier as reference points, folds the flap back to its original position. If the flap isn't precisely where it was before, the patient will have distorted vision. Using a syringe that flushes the area with sterile water, the surgeon carefully smooths the flap, the same way you'd smooth out a tablecloth. Then he removes the sponge ring. Within 45 seconds, the negative pressure inside the cornea sucks the flap back on. The flap literally seals itself. With the sponge, the surgeon dabs up any excess water. He applies antibiotic drops as a preventive measure, then inspects the microkeratome again before moving on to the other eye. He takes the speculum off, tapes the eye closed, then performs the same operation on the other eye. When that's done, the surgeon uses a high-powered microscope to make sure the flaps are wrinkle-free. The patient wears protection shields until the next morning, then overnight for a week. <laughs>